I'm Heather and I've been a nurse for about 15 years or so. I um, decided about three and a half years ago that I wanted to do traveling. I had heard such good things about it. Everybody enjoyed it, seemed to like it. My son had just turned 20, so he was out on his own, doing his own thing. My mom and dad are young, healthy, didn't need me, and I thought, okay, if we're gonna travel, now's the time to travel. I was looking in between contracts at one point, looking for a job, and got in touch with PRN, and they had what I wanted, and here we are today. The people are amazing. It doesn't matter when you call, doesn't matter who picks up the phone. You know, they will usually say, you know, call you by your name. If they say, I'll get back to you, they get back to you. If they say, I'll find out for you, they find out for you and let you know. If there's anything that's ever wrong, they fix it. You know, it, it's, it's amazing to know that you have that kind of a comfort level, that no matter what's going on, you've got somebody that's got your back, that's in your corner. My very first contract, I drove and I drove and I drove and I drove and you get to your apartment. And I unlock the door and anybody who's ever traveled will tell you the worst feeling is going into an empty apartment. You don't have food, you don't have milk, you don't have anything and you've, everything you own is packed in your car and you're lugging it up and down steps and you're getting it unpacked and you're doing all this. When I opened my apartment door, there was a bouquet of flowers on the counter. There was granola bars with a loaf of bread and you open the refrigerator and there's eggs and milk and sandwich meat and just knowing that somebody took the time to just that basic stuff, just to get it there so that I could unload my car, unpack my stuff and sit down and have a sandwich. Seems like a little thing, but it's huge. And then I got to looking through the folder that they had left. They had literally taken a map from my apartment and drawn where the nearest grocery store was and where this place was and Walmart was. And, and it was so, you didn't feel like you were lost in a city and you had no idea where to go. It was just, that was probably the thing that in my mind I thought, okay, this is gonna be a good company. Most travelers, they're the biggest complaint that we have. The, the one thing that will make us matter than anything is when we call somebody and they don't call us back or when we're trying to fix something, we're trying to figure something out, we've got a problem and we've got to get it fixed. The worst thing you can do is not call us back or not send us an email back or not get in touch with us every time I've needed anything, even if it was non-nursing related, even if it was a question, when I first moved here, one of my first questions to my recruiters, where do I go to get my nails done? You know, it's, it's things like that and they get back to you. There's never a, they stand behind what they tell you too. You know, if, if you have, if they've said, this is what we will do for you, they do it. Regardless of what it takes, they, they've, I've, you know, my recruiter has jumped through hoops for me. You know, and it's just, it's that feeling of actually belonging to a family because a lot of times as a traveler, you don't have that feeling. You don't have that connection with work at work with people because you've not been there for years. You're not gonna be there for years. So you kind of feel like it's them and it's me. And to know that your company backs you up, that you have that support system is worth its weight in gold.